The Rugged Ridge front tube doors are for anyone with a 2018 and up JL that are looking for a set of front tube doors to give yourself that open air driving experience of not having doors on your Jeep, but giving you an armrest and a little bit more security, whether it's for you as the driver or for your passenger, maybe you have kids in the passenger seat, a pet, or just somebody who likes a little bit more of a secure feeling of having a tube door on your Jeep. These are also going to be great for off-roading because while they do give you that security of having a door, you have a lot more visibility to the tires so that you can see the line that you're picking. This is going to be a nice easy one out of three wrenches for the installation. They're just going to bolt right into place and we're going to show you how to do it in just a second. So those are really the main reasons that you want to purchase a set of tube doors for your Jeep. You want the open experience but you want a little bit more security and you want to be able to have great visibility off-road again while still having that security. And there are going to be a lot of different tube doors on the market and some of them are going to have different features that are either going to be pros or are going to be cons. So when we're talking about these doors, they're going to have a couple of different things that I do like. One of those is the fact that it has a mount for a mirror. So what you're going to be able to use with these doors is the Rugged Ridge tube door mirrors, which is a specific set of mirrors designed to be bolted right onto these doors. You can use a TJ or a YJ quick release mirror if you choose to, or you can of course mount your mirror up on the A pillar of the Jeep and not use this bracket at all. Those are your options. Now it is important to note that you cannot use a factory set of JL mirrors on these brackets that is not going to be one of your choices. If you definitely know that you want to go with the Rugged Ridge tube door mirrors, there is a kit that includes both front doors as well as both Rugged Ridge tube door mirrors if you choose to go that direction. These doors are going to have adjustable hinges, which is another one of those features that I really like. You want some adjustability, whether it be in the hinges, in the latch, or both. In this case, it's just in the hinges, but they give you a lot of adjustability. And why that's important is all this stuff just bolts together. And regardless, every Jeep is going to be just a little bit different as it rolls off the factory floor. So you don't want something where you have a welded set of hinge pins and also no adjustability on this latch because the chances of everything lining up for you and closing smoothly and quietly are slim to none. So with this, you have a ton of adjustability. Again, stay tuned for the install. We'll show you how to get them adjusted and it's going to ensure the door is going to open smoothly, close smoothly, and be nice and quiet for you, working exactly how it should. Now, talking a little bit more about the latch side here, this is a very nice, easy to use latch, very easy to grab, a nice big piece. You put your whole hand in, you have plenty of leverage, so it does make it easy to open and close the door. What it doesn't have is a locking mechanism, and some of you might be thinking, it's a tube door, why do we need a lock on it? Well, if you don't want to have to mess with some sort of lock on the hinge side here, having a lock on the latch side means that somebody can't just open your door, lift it off the hinges, or remove these nuts and then lift it off the hinges and walk away with your tube doors. And depending on where you're parking and for how long, that may be a concern of yours. So sometimes having a locking latch can be a benefit to you. Again, this is not going to have one. If you were worried about security, you can either reuse your factory hinge nuts here, which is gonna be a little bit of a deterrent, or use a locking set of hinge nuts, which will essentially do the same thing as if you had a lock over here. One of the other things that we'll talk about with tube doors is whether they have any accessories that are designed to go with them. Some of the tube doors these days will have almost like a mesh top material that's designed to go over here. Some of it's just for style, some is to keep the sun off of you, some will give you a little bit more of a secure feeling, and others will actually have some pockets sewn right into them with a nice big zipper to give you a little bit more storage when you're driving in the Jeep with the tube doors installed. These ones are not going to come with anything like that, and in fact, they don't have anything currently available from Rugged Ridge. That may change down the line, but if that's a consideration of yours, maybe you take a look at one of the other options out there. If that's not a consideration, having any sort of mesh material to go on here, then you're looking at all the other features of this door, and if that's what you're concerned with, I really do like these doors. I like the adjustability, I like the mirror mounts, I like the latching mechanism. Overall, I think they're a good looking door, and I think they work really well for what they're designed to do. Now, these are gonna come in at right around that $430 mark, and that's going to be for a pair of doors. So whether you have a two door like we have, or a four door and you're only looking for the front doors, this is gonna be the kit to go with. There is also a matching set of rear doors if you have a four door and you're looking for a full set of four. As far as the pricing goes, I think it's gonna be very fair, a little less than some of the other options out there for a door that is very well put together. So like we mentioned before, this is gonna be an easy install. Let me show you how to do it. For this installation, we used a 13 millimeter socket driven by our 3 8 socket driver and also a 13 millimeter wrench. Then a couple of pieces from our Jeep toolkit, the T40 and T50 Torx, along with our driver. 
So the first step in our very easy one out of three wrench installation is going to be here on the table. We're gonna do a little bit of assembly of both of the doors before we jump over to the Jeep, get our factory doors off and get these ones installed. And that assembly is very, very simple. These come with the door hinge pins separate from the doors. So we're gonna get these bolted into place. And like I said before, this is something that I really like because you have that built-in adjustability. So all we need to do is get these bolted on here with the included hardware so you have a small bolt washers and lock nuts and we are going to leave this hardware very loose until we get the door installed on the Jeep then we'll tighten everything down that of course is the adjustability part of these adjustable hinge pins so let's get these bolted on Now we can do the same thing on the passenger door. Now that we're done with the assembly of our doors, we can jump over to the Jeep and get our factory doors removed. In order to do that, we're gonna be using the T50 Torx bit and the socket that comes in your Jeep toolkit with your Jeep to remove the two nuts on the bottom of the door. Then we'll jump to the inside and take it apart in there. Now we can switch over to the T40 bit out of the Jeep toolkit and remove this bolt here out of our closing mechanism for the door. The next step is to remove this piece of trim that gives us access to disconnect our wiring and our limiting strap. So you can just stick a finger in here and pull directly toward you and that'll disconnect. For the electrical connector, we first have to lift up on the red safety tab then there's a small plastic tab to push while we lift the white lever. When the white lever is fully in the up position, the connector will be disconnected. With the connector disconnected, we can move on to our limiting strap here. And you might have to close the door just a little bit to give yourself some slack. And you can work the strap over top of the metal hook here for it to be disconnected. 
I like to then take our connector and tuck it in the mat pocket on our door. Then we can lift the door off the Jeep and set it aside somewhere safe. If you've put your windows down before you disconnected your electrical connection, you'll have a nice, easy handle to grab onto your door with. Simply lift it off the hinges and set it aside somewhere that it's not gonna get damaged. Now it's time to get our tube door installed on our Jeep and what we're going to do is lift it up We'll get our hinge pins aligned into the hinges, and then we'll very carefully and very, very slowly close the door, ensuring that everything lines up on this side and we're not going to damage any of the paint. Once we have the door closed, we'll know that everything lines up on the latch side, and we can go back and tighten down the four bolts on the hinge side so that that adjustment is locked in and the door isn't going to move around on us. Before we tighten down these four nuts and bolts, we are going to reinstall our factory hinge pin nuts. And the idea here is that it's going to pull the top and the bottom part of the hinge together firmly, make sure everything is perfectly aligned before we tighten down these nuts and lock in our adjustment. Now we can tighten down our four nuts and bolts on our two hinges. With everything tightened down, we'll give a quick test to the functionality of the door. We want to make sure that it opens and closes smoothly. It doesn't bang. If you do need to make any final adjustments up or down on this end, simply loosen up your nut and bolt on that end, make that adjustment, and then tighten everything up again. So, unlatches, swings pretty smoothly, and while we close it, seems to work just fine. Perfect. So the last thing we need to do on this door is to install our limiting straps so the door can't open more than 90 degrees and smack into the fender. So we'll do that now. So the limiting strap here has a bunch of different notches in it so you can adjust how far the door will open. We're going to set it on the furthest notch on the door side. So we'll just open that up. Slide it over top of the factory style hook on the tube door. There we go. And then get the door pretty much as far open as we want to be able to open it. And that'll be fine for us. And we'll get the other end of our limiting strap hooked onto the factory limiting strap hook right here. We'll just have to close the door a little bit more to give us a little bit of extra slack there. Once it's over, all we have to do is put our plastic trim piece back in and we're done on this side.
So if you're looking for a quality set of tube doors at a fair price, I would recommend this option from Rugged Ridge, and you can find them right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.